a short video on how to get the PPD billing data out of an iTouch manager. Starting from the, uh, the console view uh, on your workstation, this is what you're normally looking at. You want to go to the uh, to the menu list. Okay, and in the menu list, you want to go to the operation management tab, and then push into the uh, the PPD billing icon. Once in that panel, uh, you're going to be collecting your data by period. So you can set the starting date and the end date for your data collection out of the iTouch manager. The collection date goes from 12.01 a.m. on the starting date to, to 11.59 p.m. on the ending date. Once you put in your starting and finishing date, you push the execute button and it will begin to collect the data for you over that preset time span. One other useful thing while you're in this view pane is once it's collected the data, it gives the sum total of watt hours used per fan coil in this panel. So we're going to close out of that and what you will have after doing that is you'll have a file that looks like this, a PPD file that's got the starting date and the finishing date in the in the file description. So once you push into that file you'll have something that looks like this. This is what the data looks like. Well this is all the this is all the data for the time span that you selected. not going to be a whole lot of uh, file management description in this short video but it's rather getting the data into a, a format that you can use for your billing purposes. So what what's in this file there's header there's some header information that tells you uh, certain things about the iTouch manager and then uh, what is the data it's what our data we don't need this for our purposes so we're going to select that data and we're going to delete it. All we want are the uh, the room number titles and then the the data underneath the room the room numbers. I'm going to spread that out so I can see what this is. So you can see how the how the file is arranged. I've got uh, these room numbers and then I've got a date and a time and then how many watt hours co were collected between one o'clock and two o'clock then from 2 o'clock to 3 o'clock and so on over the date span that you have prescribed. These are the watt hours over this small time period. So we're going to want to total up that time. We're going to want to total up that those watt hours over the uh, uh, for the entire file. So if you look at this file across the top you see useful information. You see your room numbers and then you'll see in, intermixed in here, and this was you know, due to how the contractor addressed the system, we want to get rid of this. This is not useful information. We are only interested in room number information. That's all we want, okay? So how we're going to get rid of the, the extra information across the top is we're going to do a horizontal sort. We're going to do a horizontal sort across the top and I'm going to first center my data. I selected everything here, go to the home button and I center center everything. But if I go across the top you'll see that intermixed in the room data there's this extra stuff that we don't want. Okay, Bad data and there's some more. Okay there's only four floors. Oh, bad data, good data, bad data, good data, and so on. Okay, so I'm going to go to the end of everything and I'm going to select the top of the column. So I do a left click on the top of the column. I go back to the very beginning and I do a shift left click which selects everything. I go to my uh, data tab in Microsoft Excel. I press the the, uh, the sort function and I want to do a horizontal sort from left to right. So in the options that's where I select that sort left to right. Select it there 
hit OK, and we're going to we're going to sort on line number one, which has got the room number information. Okay, so we're going to sort on room number one. When we hit OK, you'll see now everything from left to right starts with these uh, new numbers, it goes from lowest to lowest to highest in the numerical values, and then after that you will see your room number information from lowest to highest, room 101, 102, and so on. Okay, so all, all the rooms are from this point forward all the way out to the end. Okay, this is all good room information, so now I can I can get rid of all this. This is not valid room information, so I'm going to I'm going to unselect everything and I'm going to select the top of the column that's got uh, basically garbage data. So I selected that column. Now I go back to the beginning of the file. I gra drag the elevator bar to the left. Now I do a shift so shift left click and I've selected everything. You'll see all the blue which is highlighted. That's all the data that we that's what we don't want, okay? the rooms are not selected. So you right click anywhere in the blue, hit delete, boom, it's gone. Okay. So now at the beginning of the file, notice at the top, room 101, 101, 102, 103, 104, 105, all I have is valid room data all the way to the right. The very end is room 440. Okay. The next thing we want to get rid of is we want to get rid of all this date time information. We only want watt hour data. Okay. So we're going to do a vertical sort. So we're going to go to the bottom of the file, to the very bottom of the data. I'm going to select that line. And I'm going to go to the top and I'm going to do a shift left click. Now all that's all this is all selected. And I'm going to go back to the the data sort. This time in the options, I'm sorting from top to bottom. And I'm going to be sorting on column A. Okay. All I want is I want all that date time information to fall out at the bottom. So I hit OK, and there's my date time information at the bottom. Notice it's all date time, date time, date time, date time, date time. And I'll get to a point where now I've got watt hour information on top of that. At the top I've got the room numbers, I've got the watt hour information that I'm going to want to be totaling up, and then I've got the date time which I want to throw away. I don't want that data, I don't need it, I know what the, the date span that this was collected for. So I click on the bottom most line, I go to the very top of the stuff that I don't want, and I do a left, a shift left click. That's all selected. Now I stay in the selected area, right click and hit delete. Okay. Now here's all my watt hour data. Okay. I want to next total up each column. I want to know how many add up all these watt hours because these were by hour how many watt hours were used for room 101, 102, 103, and so on. Okay. So. I'm going to go to just going to skip a line to, to keep things neat. I'm going to click below the, uh, I'm all the way on the left side of the page. This is room 101 and I can split my page and I can look at the very top if I, if I wish. I can, uh, this is an Excel function. Okay. So these room numbers won't move. Okay. So I want to total. I want to total all these watt hours in room 101. So I click, uh, leave myself a gap, click that, then I go to formulas, and there is a button called Auto Sum. Press that, and it will select everything above that cell and just below room 101. Hit the Enter key, and there's your sum total of everything in this column. Okay. Notice that sum total is expressed. It really is a function. The function is the summation of cells A2 through A1345. Okay. 
So we're going to have to put a fixed value there because we're going to want to delete all this data. We don't want all this mess. We just want that number. So once we add it up, we're going to we're going to change. The, once we add all these up, we're going to change all these cells from a from a function to a real number. Okay. So uh, I need to get all the other columns. Okay. So I can just I can simply copy what I've done here. I click on that cell. Do a right click copy and I'm copying the function. I'm going to go to the end of the page. Well, I'm going to click just to the right of that cell. Then I'm going to go to the end of the page. End of the data. And there's the, that's that highlighted. That's where I'm selected. I'm going to go out here under the last column. Hit the shift. Left click. Now everything is selected. And then if I do a right click, I stay in the area, right click, and then hit paste, it'll paste that function all the way across. Okay, so if I look in the first column here, I've got some, uh, I've got the sum of A2 through A1345. In column B, it's the B's. In column C's, D, E, F, and so on. Okay, so now I want to, I, when I delete when I delete this column of, of values, this will turn to a zero. Okay, so I want to I want to save this number. So I, again, I'm, I'm going to click on that click on that cell now. I'm going to go to the very end. I'm going to do a shift shift key left click, and I'm going to do a copy. I'm copying. Okay, I'm going to click on the leftmost cell under A. Then I'm going to do a right click and I'm going to do paste values. Okay, so what's happened now is the values have been pasted to those cells. There's that it's the same number, 52466. There it is. That's what that's what's in the cell. 8708, 2231. That's a real number. So now I can get rid of all this on top of it. Okay, so I'm gonna I'm gonna click on that line. I want that whole line. I'm going to go to the very top. And I'm going to do a shift left click there, come inside here and hit the delete. And now I've got oh, I've lost something. I'm going to I've hit the undo key. What did I lose? Do a click on that line, go to the top. Going to do a shift and then delete. Oh, I know what's so it, there was a big hole. So that there's now there's my data right there. Okay, it deleted everything in between. Okay, and I can move this back up. So there's my room information. There's my room number. And there's the there's the watt hours for the month. Okay. So for your billing purposes, you're going to want this in vertical fashion. So I'm going to do I'm going to uh, copy this rectangular area of all this information. So I do a a left click. I go to the very end, and I'm uh, basically marking out a rectangle. So shift left click, and then I'm going to do a copy. Say copy. I'm back over the front of the file. Just click, click any cell beneath the area. Right click, and then you're going to your rotate paste. It's called transpose. And then check a few cells of data to make sure that the data, nothing happened to the data. So room 101, 52446. Room 101, 52446. Room 107, 50910. 107 is 50910. Okay, that's fine. We can get rid of these lines now. So I select right click delete and there is your data okay you're going to want kilowatt data for your purposes cuz that's how power companies uh, bill things this is watt hour so i've got i've got room number room number and then i've got watt hour watt hour okay what i want is i what what i need for my billing is kilowatt hours okay so kilowatt hours is just watt hours divided by 1000 So I'm going to put a formula here. I want to divide this number by a thousand and put it there. Okay. 
So in Excel, to begin uh, a mathematical equation, the old-fashioned way equals sum, that indicates that I'm doing a calculation, left parentheses, what am I doing? Describe the equation, okay? Equals sum, left parentheses. I want to take this number, left click on it, boom, and it puts that cell D2. D2 divided by 1,000, and I just put in 1,000, left parentheses, close it up, hit the enter key, and that's what you're looking for right there. So 52,446 watt hours is the same thing as 52.466 kilowatt hours. To copy that equation down, I left click on that, right click, copy, then I click that cell below it, I go to the bottom of the file, I do a shift, left click, right click, and I do a paste. Okay. So if I if I look at up here, there's the expression that I create something d2 divided by a thousand, d3 divided by a thousand, d4, and so on, d5 divided by one thousand. Okay, there's your equations. Okay. Once again, you know, I want this, I want these numbers, I don't want I want to convert this to a real number. I don't want the expression in case I delete this data. So I just mark that, left click on that, go to the bottom, and I do a shift click, right click, copy, go back to the top, click there, left click, right click, and then paste values, and now everything is a value. See 52,466, 1531, 7752, this is your kilowatt hour data. This is what you'll be using for, for your billing. If you want two decimal places, it's as simple as clicking the top of the cell, right click anywhere in, in, in the blue, hit format cells, and then in the uh, number, you know, click number, and declare two decimal places, and hit OK, and there you go. Uh, the fact is the full number is still there, it's just rounding it mathematically proper to two decimal places. And that's the data that you're looking for. Here ends the video.